Hello and welcome back. Um, so this evening I'm going to attempt to take the base which I had designed in an earlier couple of episodes and stamp it out as a blueprint into a blank world. And this is really just a sanity check to make sure that the set of blueprints I've got for the base do actually tile together and look as if they give a complete or at least a virtually complete design for an entire base. The entire thing, the blueprint, would have been far too big to fit on the screen, so it would have been almost impossible to stamp down. So I had to cut it up into sections. Uh, I then filled a book full of the sections, and that's what we're going to attempt to put down today. There's a slight fly in the ointment in that there's a couple of sections that contain rail, and as you'll know, rail places down on a 2x2 grid, whereas everything else places down on a one by one grid. So um, I've had to do a couple of tricks to try and get things uh, aligned correctly uh, so that you don't get halfway through putting down the blueprint and then get stuck. So let's start off by having a look at the blueprint book. These are all of the blueprints which hopefully together tile to make the base. Um, we start off with power and then there's this magic item here uh, to get everything registered and then we place the blueprints down pretty much in reverse order and that should give us the whole base. So uh, let's give it a go. So we'll start off, um, there we are, that's our power module. So uh, if you if you can remember back, you probably can't anyway. Uh, this is a um, steam powered array. Uh, initially, obviously we'd use standard boilers and steam engines to fit everything into a tight space and cut down on the fluid. Uh, I'm actually using nuclear turbines here. One turbine produces the same power that two steam engines would. So it lets you build the same thing more compactly. The base in a box I've done is designed for um, for speed, obviously, but also for doing uh, the Steam All The Way award and for doing the um, No Logistics Bots one, can't remember what that's called, and the uh, Hail of Bullets, is it? The one where you don't use lasers. Uh, so there's a few things which are designed in a slightly quirky way to support that, and this is one of them. Uh, so the eagle-eyed among you will notice that I've been out here with a little bit of landfill ahead of time. I just squared off this lake and got rid of a couple of little puddles which would have otherwise been in the way. Okay, so let's put this down. Um, and then this is the blueprint that lines this up. Oh, we were lucky there. That lines this up with the rest of the base. So we'll just place this little blue blueprint down. And the trick here was that I included a single section of rail in that blueprint. That made sure that this was rail aligned. Um, ugly, ugly hack, but it works. Okay, so now we can start placing everything down. So the first thing is the refinery. Okay, the next thing is um, robotics and modules. Okay. The next thing is blue circuits. Then we have red circuits. Let's get this in the right place. Uh, so all these blueprints overlap as well. So that, um, that's it. Uh, so that there's always a point of um, comparison to lay them down. Okay, so this overlaps there. So you can see the idea. Um, the There's a concrete backbone uh, walkway type path thing. Um, so that needs to line up. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, and it has to be there because there's a pipe at the top. Okay. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Um, next one, so uh, this is concrete 
and kit for your power armor and explosives. Then we have um, batteries, engines, electric engines. So everything down here on the on the bottom bit of the bus is things we don't really care about. Uh, they're consumable circuits, engines, blah, robots. Um, everything we care about is on the top of the bus. Right, then there's this little segment here uh, needed to make sure that all the pipes join up. And then we can get in to put, lay the actual bus down. So the bus is in three segments. There's a segment for space, uh, one for the rest of science, and then one for everything else. And we're trying to get this lined up. There we are. Yep, yeah, that looks like it's lined up. Just got to hope when I do this for real that I'm not on a particularly tree-heavy map, otherwise I will be stuffed. Right, so that's the wrong colour. There we are, blue. And this is the bus which covers the making everything area. Um, there we are. Good. Okay. So then uh, let's lay down our blueprints for the top half of the bus. So the far right we have rockets. Ah, it looks like something isn't quite right here. Um, oh, because this actually goes all the way down, that's better. This is why having overlaps are so useful. Um, they really save you from making mistakes. Uh, this is the um, where are we? This is the next bit. Oh, I've. Sorry, I think I've been flicking through the book in the wrong direction. Okay, we've got science for rockets. Then we've got um, gold science. So that's going to go there. Okay. Then we have um, blue and purple science. Then we have uh, red, green, and military. That's gone down. Then we have research labs. One of the very few places in the entire design where I've done some belt weaving, which I don't really like doing normally. Uh, this is the making area um, for belts and inserters and their friends. This is basically all the stuff we can make without using steel. Okay, then this is the making things that require steel um, and uh, a few other things that don't really make sense to make uh, in the other site. Then this is the armory. There we are. And the armory contains a train station which takes uh, bullets and uh, uh, shells for the artillery. So that's the base in a box. Now, obviously, the base in the box needs to be fed. So the next bit of the blueprint book is all the stuff to feed it. Um, and we'll have to page through this to find the right order to do them. So I think I'm going to work from the top down. Yeah, and the top item is steel smelting. Uh, so we can locate this with the drone port, I think. Yeah, that looks correct. Great. Uh, then after the steel smelting, we have iron bricks. 
After I'm Bricks, we have uh, the feed for um, stone, iron ore onto the bus for concrete um, and coal, I believe. So let's put that down. Then we have the iron smelting, and this, this is for the iron plates to um, Ah, this doesn't line up. What's going on here? So this needs to be too higher to line up. Oh, uh, the previous blueprint went down in the wrong place. All right, we've got some, don't know if you can see here, there's, there's two copies of stuff. So this is why it's so important to uh, to have overlapping things and to look at what you've placed down after you've placed it down. Okay, get rid of that. I will place the stone brick down a second time, just to make sure it's all there. Right, so stone brick, aggregates. And this time, let's line it up. There we are, that's better. Okay, after aggregates, we have the smelt, we have the, yeah, the smelting for the iron plates, which are gonna go into production. Then we have the copper, which is going to go into production. The bus, if you look, here is split into two sections. There's a um, a bus in the top half of your screen which feeds everything on the top and a bus on the bottom half of the screen that feeds everything below. So the, the smelting for those is separate to keep um, to keep things supplied really and to keep my head in one place. Right, so then this is the... we've done the iron for production Copper for production. This is copper for circuits. Um, and it's a bit of a beast. Let's get it lined up. Right, that looks too low to me. What's going on here? Nope, this really does go down here. So there's something else missing somewhere. Um, right, let's go back one. This is the... Copper for production. So I think perhaps I'm missing a smelter off this blueprint. Uh, I think maybe I'm missing a copper smelter uh, that fills in this gap here. That one, two, three, four, five, six inputs. Yeah, I think there's possibly a missing copper smelter from that blueprint. Okay, so note to self. So this, yeah, this is the copper for circuits. Then we have iron for circuits, which goes there. Then there's a solid fuel maker, which bolts on the bottom. Then there's nuclear, um, which we can align with those beacons. There we are. Okay, then we can start putting in the train stations. And the train stations fill in the materials bus. Okay, so it should all overlap and line up. Um, there we are. And um, 
I'm just going to place it in over the biters. Obviously, in a real game, uh, you'd need to be a bit more careful than that. There we go. Here, that's uranium. And... Stackers. And then... Um, just a, another unit to make sure the bus is in place. Okay, then we're back to the armory. So we've done the armory, so that is the entire base in a box. Um, so what's missing is a copper smelter here, and uh, the original thing was made in creative mode. It looks like I have a couple of creative mode items in this blueprint, so they would need uh, pulling out and replacing, well it should just be a belt there. Um, that's it. So basically, we have a working base in a box. We can stamp the entire blueprint down. Yeah, this does look complete to me. Um, we just need to supply coal to the power block and um, petroleum, sorry, raw oil to the refinery, water to the refinery. And then we're good to go. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I will fix the blueprints up where there were those glitches. And then hopefully next episode, I will be rolling the dice for a brand new map, stamping this humdinger of a blueprint down, and seeing how quickly I can go from zero to the first rocket launch. Thanks very much for watching. Um, Please do come back again when I get the next episode. It'll be entertaining to watch me completely fail to build this thing in eight hours. Bye.